The university student educational board has decided to undertake a hypothetical project to make this university more student friendly. Our team has proposed to give a head to upgrade and redesign the sport uh, center to include extra facilities, which include a new square, square count section and a new head food cafe and a new basketball court and a new change rooms. The total cost of this project is broadly estimated to be six million dollars and it will open in 2021. In this presentation, uh, our, our team member will analyze the needs of stakeholders initially, then structuring the problem and following the creative solution and evaluation. Finally, the diffusion will be shown. Let's, let's talk about the stakeholders' needs analysis. This stakeholders' analysis identifies the individuals and interests in the project outcomes. Early conduct stakeholders could be taken to effectively uh, manage their interests and ex expectation through the project. Stakeholders in this project are shown in this summarized table. The stakeholders face different challenges due to their position, social views, emotional, and so on. Their barriers are shown in the last row, which means only if the assumption is achieved. The stakeholders will satisfy the project outcomes. The project needs to control their budget, address all student needs, deep research, and less interruption for the environment. The benefit stakeholders can get a uh, can get our things like reputation as a place to exercise and improve the student experience. Sometimes the all stakeholder requests can no, not be satisfied due to their requirements are unreality or hard to satisfy. Therefore, we identify the key stakeholders and achieve their requirement firstly. The key stakeholders in those who have a high impact on high effect on the project and who interest and support our project. Because those stakeholders are all to have power have high power to diffusion. Therefore we categorize their interest and influence in this diagram. After the specific stakeholder needs analysis, we apply the rich pictures to think counter situation symmetrically and we categorize all stakeholders into three parts. The red ones are the opponents who are against this project. The green ones have a natural position, and the black ones are the supporters of the project. Therefore, we, we were primarily interested in the red and the green stakeholders, and utilize another red picture to capture the emerging situation solutions according to their needs and the concerns. This is to change their position and let them support us. Hello, everyone. So the next session, we will introduce about the range of the stakeholder. So here is the table. As we can see, um, the major stakeholder is ranked from top to the bottom. And our, our group team believe that the stakeholder with negative position, natural position, and also high influence will be our major stakeholder. In order to turn it into favor position, the top red color needs to be salute. For example, um, for the role L, who is the director of the library service, our project will build a reading corner to satisfy with it, because he um, because he thinks that area is not very well with study. So, um, for deeply and for the another deeply analyze, we have the WES um, diagram. We showing about the um, we showing about the chair and the wall position um, between the state uh, between the stakeholder and the chair of the stakeholder will be our will be also considered as our major stakeholder. Hi, so here is the map of the solution. Um, our major solution is showing um, at red color. And as you can see, a detailed proposal will be put in our project. And um, a setting reading corner, as I mentioned before, um, a change, um, a change. There is some problem for the heavy, um, for the heavy traffic. So 
our project this is to change the classroom that close or near to the project area and also we have an other mansion um, we will have a choice on it um, we will have a choice on that um, is to use the bus to connect between the area and the station so um, yeah and that is our major solution of the project we should focus on E and H as they have high impact and low cost. The results would be fruitful if we can schedule our budget and target on these groups of stakeholders to maximize the profit with limited resources. It should be noted that moderate efforts should be devoted to A, B, C, and J to since they have high impact despite high cost. Nevertheless, a limit should be set to avoid dangers of overly demanding expenditure. It is also noted G and D has low impact and low cost. We should keep them engaged at minimum cost. No resources should be targeted at F and I, simply because they have low impact and high cost. Effort would be fruitless. Firstly, we draw a social network to determine G and G are key stakeholders. They have most relationship with others. However, according to Roger's main insight, we set G to later majority because his position is against. In this process, we find G have special growth relationship with D H F P M. So we decided to salute earlier majority parts concerns first. Then they will separate and uh, explain our approach to each other, reach the purpose of diffusion. Due to the limited information, we only emphasize the potential relationships between golf team. This is all classified of stakeholders.